Today in cannabis news, the Mississippi State Agriculture Commissioner says they do not want their department to play any role in overseeing medical cannabis. A Texas state law expanding medical cannabis accessibility soon takes effect, though acquiring cannabis may still have obstacles. And another cannabis legalization measure is filed in Missouri for the state's ballot in 2022, potentially resulting in multiple competing initiatives. It's Tuesday, August 31st, and this is your Tricombs Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricombs.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, while Mississippi legislators consider a medical cannabis system in replacement to one approved by voters but overturned by the state Supreme Court, State Agriculture Commissioner Andy Gibson claims they won't aid in monitoring any system because cannabis remains prohibited on the federal level. Legislators sponsored and are contemplating proposals this year that would place Gibson's department to permit and oversee cannabis farmers and manufacturers. Initiative 65, which was approved by voters in November, would have put the state health department in control of the overall system, though it could have enlisted the support of other authorities. The state board of health had resisted putting the system under the control of the health department, as well as Initiative 65. State Senator Kevin Blackwell, who is spearheading Senate deliberations on a medical cannabis system, noted they hadn't talked with Gibson, though several of the other 38 states that have medical cannabis systems have agriculture departments that oversee them. Next up, on September 1st, a new statute will take effect in the state of Texas that will extend the usage of medicinal cannabis. Veterans suffering from PTSD as well as cancer patients and others will be able to benefit from the broadened policy under the Compassionate Use of Medical Marijuana Act. There is still a procedure to follow, though, as per Dr. Sujan Gogu, a family sports and pain medicine doctor at South Texas Health System Clinics. Dr. Gogu noted that once a physician recommends the use of medical cannabis, Actually, acquiring cannabis may take longer because of the lack of dispensaries in Texas. It would probably be pharmacies that have compounding pharmacies part of their system that would carry a level of THC or specialty pharmacies that would carry it, Gogu remarked. Gogu stated that your primary care physician must have a close working relationship with the pharmacies that stock it and that patients may encounter additional obstacles. Although the Texas policy has progressed since 2015, Gogu is optimistic that once the extension comes into effect, eligible patients will have greater accessibility to medical cannabis. It's just not widely available, and it's just not widely known, and there's just not many physicians that are comfortable prescribing it, added Gogu. Once education comes out, I think we will be readily more available to people But I still think it's relatively limited right now. Last up, with another organization submitting a recreational cannabis legislation measure that might contend with different policy efforts already filed, Missouri state residents might see several cannabis proposals on the state's midterm ballot in 2022. The initiative was presented to the Secretary of State by Legal Missouri 2022 and will now undergo a review process before being potentially authorized. Adults aged 21 years and up would be able to buy, carry, and grow cannabis for individual consumption under the plan. Regulatory authorities would be in charge of establishing possession restrictions, though they would have to enable adults aged 21 years and up to buy up to three ounces of cannabis at minimum. Individuals who want to grow cannabis for individual consumption would have to file with the state and be confined to six plants as well as six clones. Cannabis retail would be subject to a 6% tax with the potential of an extra local tax of upwards to 3%. That was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry related podcasts like Hash It Out, Tech and Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation wherever you get your podcasts. For Tricomes.com, I'm Devin Leal. And I'm RJ Balde, signing off.